All right. In this video, we're going to uh, create a very uh, uh, just just say a chatting application using a uh, long polling and uh, all of those things. So uh, let's get started. So first, we're going to create a server.js, and uh, with the server.js, we're going to import HTTP. Mm. HTTP, there you go. Uh, afterwards, we're also going to require FS. Okay. There you go. And uh, so we're going to start creating our functions. Actually, let's uh, let's uh, map uh, our routes. So we're going to have in a total of three routes. We're going to have a uh, get, call, and uh, this one is to uh, it's to uh, 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 get get the messages when when uh, get the messages yes it is really what it does but but it's gonna it's gonna do a long polling to get those messages that means uh when there's no new messages it's the server is not gonna return the response but the moment there's a new message it's gonna return the response with the new message so that is long polling um, we, we're gonna have the page, uh, just to serve, serve, serve the client, uh, app, and we're gonna have post, and post a message, there you go, and that is just to, uh, to send the message, there you go, so let's get started, so let's create a handle poll. Uh, let's get a function actually function and we'll pull. There you go, pull. And uh, it's gonna take in a request and a result. And uh, to to uh, to handle uh, to do long polling, we need a response pool. So let's create that. Plants uh, pool equals uh, an array. And let's create the 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 pool. I mean, let's create the, the thing. So uh, we're just going to do pull dot push response. That is it. That is how we handle the pull. Afterwards, we're going to have function handle page. And this one is going to also gonna take a request result. And it's going to it's going to uh, going to to fs dot create stream restream and uh, can be beer name plus uh I guess client.html and we're gonna pipe it inside a uh, into the response. That is it, that is it, I think. Yeah, that is it. And now finally the, the post message. So function uh, handle message request result and what we're gonna do is that we're gonna we're gonna read the body uh, to get the message. So what we're gonna do is request dot on data. Uh, we're gonna get the chunks, and um, and we're just gonna do uh, I guess a message uh, plus equal chunk. That's uh, define message. Uh, defining message message equal. Uh, yeah, let message let message equals this equals a uh, empty string and then afterwards uh, we're gonna have our uh, quest dot on end and this is the moment when we send all our data to everyone so uh, we have our message now let's create a new function called emit me emit message and this one is gonna take in a message and it's gonna uh, gonna stand to, it's going to iterate over all the responses. So uh, for let result uh, response of uh, pool, and we're going to result uh, response <laughs> dot end with the message, and uh, and afterwards we're going to delete the pool. I mean emptying the pool. So we just set it set to zero. All right, and over here we can just do emit message. And message, and we end the re the response uh, the request uh, response to end. Yeah, there you go. All right, now let's create the routing for this. 
the routing. So it's going to be HTTP dot create server plus result, and uh, I guess like method equal request dot method uh, let the role equals request dot role, and if method equals get uh and if all equals uh, uh what was that slash page we're just gonna do handle page uh, plus result and else row uh, else it all equals uh, slash uh, poll we're gonna do handle poll plus result all right, and now we're gonna have else if method equals post. We're gonna do uh, if it's post and that uh, it's role is equal to slash uh, message. We're gonna do handle message, and if it doesn't match any of them, so else we just do request dot and. There we go, that is it. And uh, yeah, now we can we can actually listen the, to the, to a port. This one port 8080, actually at yeah, 5000. And we're gonna un, we're gonna add a bit of callback on listening. Uh, unlistening and also go oh, I am listening. Oh. On, on, on port uh, 5000. There you go. All right. Now uh, we can create our client. So, uh, yeah, let's create our client. So, client.html. Create this. Let's just put the boil plate uh, uh, div things so we have our div this is where we put all messages messages and uh, we're also going to have our um, our little input uh, let's put it on top so input uh, input uh, yeah type text and uh, I guess ID input like now let's also add a button and uh, stand. And here let's placeholder your message. There we go. All right, let's add some scripts. Script, that is just regular JavaScript. Uh, script, all right. So now let's, uh, let's do uh, some functions. So function poll. Uh, what was this function going to do? It's actually just going to pull, so uh, slash pull. And uh, what we're going to do is that after we finish polling, we're probably going to get a response. We're going to get the text of this response. Then we um, add this response to the div. So, uh, yeah, so we have our message. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna do a document dot get element by ID messages, and uh, we're gonna get its inner HTML plus equals template string. Yes, it is very long for a single line. All right, template string, and what is it? What it is? It is gonna be a message with br. There you go. And if it doesn't work. Or, or if it doesn't work, or it finished, it's gonna be finally. Uh, final, oh, finally, finally, we're just gonna call itself. There you go. So that is it. Uh, yeah, that is it. So now let's create the other function post. So it is also gonna be fetch, but it's gonna on message. Oh, action so yeah, message makes more sense as a naming convention. Not naming convention, it just makes more sense. All right. So um, yeah, uh, message. We're gonna define its method. Method 
host. And I'm also gonna throw in its body. Body is gonna be message if I didn't put on top. A pathetic message. There we go. And uh, yeah, that is it. I uh, think that is it. So now all we gotta do is that right after this, we call poll. And uh, on the input, when we click on this thing, so unclick, unclick, we're just gonna do message. And what are we going to send as a message? We're just gonna send um, document.get and an invite ID. You know, input. And what is gonna be the input the value? There you go. We're gonna send this. Uh, is that it? Uh, yeah, that is it. So let's test it out. Okay, so load server. There you go. I am listing on port 5000. Let's pop up a uh, uh, browser. There we go. Uh, yeah, two browsers uh, actually. Now, if we go to localhost 5000 slash page. There you go, your message, I send, ASDF, very cool, might have some issues after, but I don't know, 5,000, hmm, yeah, something already went wrong, no? Mm-hmm, interesting. Okay, it doesn't seem to have an issue, but this one just is broken, localhost 5,000, why? No, it doesn't have to do something with the server. What on earth? What on earth is going on? Localhost five. Oh, it's five thousand dollar page. <laughs> Oops. All right. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Of course. All right. Search page. There you go. Now let's start a conversation. Let's view the page. So I will say, "What is your name?" And uh, he receives, "What is your name?" I will say. My name is Stride. Afterwards, and he will say, Nice to meet you. And thank you. So that is it. And thanks for watching. Uh, that, is, that is this uh, short video in how long? It is only 13 minutes. All right. Well, that is it. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, bye.